Hey, hey, what is up YouTube? Andrew Rooney here. We are back with another PayPal request. I'm going to read out the comment here. It is from Mario Mr. Chelly. I've been meaning to do this for a while, but my original video was for one of my favorite Japanese fusion bands. But between you, Senri's vids and your Yoka's vids, I'm going to wait a bit. But then I caught your Edgar Winter and White Trash Frankenstein reaction video and was taken aback that you're not familiar with the Winters brother Edgar, big brother Johnny. Oh, Mario. Um, okay, this is, a, this is a slightly hard message to read. No offense, Mario. He's saying that I wasn't, uh, he was surprised that I wasn't familiar with the Winters, with, sorry, with the Winter brothers. Edgar, big brother Johnny, was the star of the family and deemed as the talented one. He was on the cover of all the rock and guitar magazines when I was a kid. I caught Edgar and Johnny Winter shows in clubs here in New York. Wow. Maybe my next video will be Johnny Winter performance. He absolutely shreds the guitar in a few styles as well as sings his style. Well, <laughs> there's no, again, no offense. I don't want to be hanging out anyone to dry you. There's just no full stop so a comma. So it's, <laughs> that makes it a difficult read. Good evening. I'm squeaking to you tonight once again as the chairman for the Loyal Society for the Prevention of Piss Pronunciation. <laughs> uh, Johnny Winter's performance here absolutely shreds the guitar in a few styles as well as sings. His style will sound familiar because although it's not unique, he plugs directly into the amp. No pedals, no effects, no whammy bar. All the sounds are from him bending the strings with his fingers. Amazing. Edgar wrote Frankenstein when he was in Johnny's band and back then the song was called the Double Drum Song. He would play drums on a kit next to the band's drummer. Anyway, here is a video submission for a reaction. They are from Texas, USA. I've always... They are from Texas, USA. I've always read that the brothers are albinos, which makes it harder for them to see under stage lighting. Hence why they are both have their eyes closed on stage or squinting. Thanks, Mario. And he has requested Tobacco Road Live. A lot of people did comment on the previous video I did. Frankenstein, which was my introduction to Edgar Winter, that yeah, I need to check out Tobacco Road. Guys, just before we hit the video, today's deal, if you subscribe to the channel today, you get 10 BPM added to your single stroke roll. It's a no brainer, go pick it up. This intro is already long enough. So with that said, let's check out Johnny Winter and Edgar Winter playing Tobacco Road live. Let's check it out. Wow, first of all, I brought up the link and that is a tremendous moustache. All right, let's get it. Look at the drummer here. Pay attention to the, pay attention to the drummer's right hand. We've got a really slow, sounds like it might be a 12-8. Um, Slow tempo here, and he's playing some hi-hat chicks with the stick, but he's keeping tempo. He's keeping subdivision with his right hand. I've talked about this multiple times on the channel. If you're not playing, that is the most dangerous, difficult part to stay in time. People think when you don't play, people think when, when, you, when you don't need to play on the drums, ah, <laughs> spin the sticks, have a laugh. No, no, that's when you got to, you know, really, really pay attention because that's when your subdivision can go off because you're not playing any subdivisions. If there is a point in a song where you're not playing, I mean, you could try it. Try playing backbeats, just da, 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 and then play it again with a right hand keeping a subdivision in between those beats. It'll be much more even, promise. Huge tip, huge tip from me. I got it at jazz school. It works, do it. Where's those, where are those vocals coming from? Edgar? 
was born in a door. My mammy died and my daddy got drunk. They left me here. Got the sex ready out in the middle of tobacco whoa, whoa, road. Yeah. I grew up in hear that long gap where the drummer came in back with the ch- counted basically gave them a tick to get back into tempo he would have been counting hard through that part man I'm telling you time is a heavy heavy concept don't underestimate it yeah I could, I could keep laboring that point about playing. When you don't play, you need to play. Either mentally subdivide, but preferably physically subdivide, not audibly. On a rusty shirt. Oh, 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 oh. I can hear him actually it tapping his leg. My back Lord, no. Around with it. You don't just slay a 12-8 blues vocal like that. Scat, unison, keyboard, and vocal improv lines, shredding on the piano, then just pull out a sax. You don't. You don't do it. It's rude. You got to think about the rest of us mere mortals. I'm going to back it up. This is just insane absolutely insane this is some real real deal blues and uh, i guess if you got it flaunt it right if you can play sax like this play sax This is Johnny here, right? Eyes closed, squinting, like um, Mario said. those sustained crashes and then the choke dump musical drumming capturing the legato intonation note length that the other instruments are playing with note length and intonation these are things that (laughs) i never really hear talked about within drumming i mean it is a big deal in jazz and well it is a big deal 
in every area of music. They talk about it a bit in jazz. But capturing note length, it seems like such an obvious thing, but it is so effective when it's done this precisely and this musically. It's And look at the kit. It's so small. You don't need a massive kit to capture note length, to capture melody. It's all about the musicality. It's all about the player. It's never about the gear. Subdivisions all the way on the right hand. You can tell this guy knows his stuff. foot chicken ostinato uh 12 to the bar he's metronomically playing his left foot when you're flowing as a drummer and you're an experienced drummer it's going to feel so much more natural to get that left foot active it's a hard thing to get into when you're starting on the drums but you need to start incorporating a bit of left foot activity even if you're playing a single kick i'm going to back it up a little bit Killer solo. Gonna leave, get a job. I went the hell and the praise from God. I'm gonna save my money. Oh, get rich out of oh. Come on. And I think I'll bring it all back to Tobacco Road. Bring dynamite. Did you hear that swing? Did you feel that swing that they kicked in there? There is a natural swing to 12 8. It's you know a triplet based subdivision as it is within four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But he incorporated internal swing into that 12 8. Let's back it up. This is exciting, man. Show. And I think I'll give it the same oh my god, this is life changing. Cool, Phil. I'm gonna have to transcribe that, Phil. Let's listen to that, Phil, again.
I'm speechless. I thought after checking out Frankenstein, nothing was going to surprise me. I was actually ready and expecting a more standard type of arrangement. I guess it is a, a slightly more standard type of arrangement. Um, I was expecting something a little bit more normal. I, to, to, in the nicest way possible. Normal in the nicest way possible. This was absolutely bonkers. Mario, Mr. Chelly, thank you so much for the request. It's a phenomenal request. It's a phenomenal group. How has this stuff never been requested before? We've got a guy playing keyboard who is virtuoso level keyboard. Virtuoso vocals. Oh, I'm trying to think. Did he sing in Frankenstein? I don't think he sung. I think that was instrumental from memory we've got a guy who can absolutely shred on the saxophone he was playing percussion on the previous song that i did timbales and latin style percussion we've got an interaction between guitar and keyboard and vocals those three key melody parts of the song where it's just this impossible sibling tightness um it's you know one sibling knows where the other one's gonna go you know when you grow up with someone you know them pretty well right and they've obviously played obviously played a lot of music together because one just knows where the other one's gonna go and we've got sympathetic guitar lines then we've got contrasting keyboard lines and then this one ducks and weaves and follows that one and there's just this understanding and level of mental connectivity that is just on another planet how have i never heard i have heard of edgar winter i haven't heard of this never even heard of the song tobacco road never heard of it this must be somewhat of a blues staple a 12 12 8 slow blues staple has to be then we had this whole other area of within this the vocal gymnastics the vocal mastery to just completely unison keyboard parts not unlike george benson where he would mouth and sing his guitar solos and that obviously shows a level of musical understanding and you know interval knowledge and pitch and all this crazy stuff that i don't even want to get into because i'm a drummer and i don't even want to go there there is just a a certain simplicity in the approach where it's all live i think mario mentioned in his message that you know johnny just plugs into the amp and uses his skill he doesn't use a thousand pedals and you know change this for every solo he just plays right just plays and he's got so much facility 
and ability that you know he, he can say whatever he wants to say without the help of pedals and effects not that there's anything wrong with pedals and effects not that there's anything wrong with that he's just choosing not to use them i guess um and the same with edgar this he's got such a developed and incredible voice on his on his instruments i was going to say instrument instruments that he doesn't really need anything he can tell his story using his ability there's no smoke and mirrors there's no edits there's no tricks it's just pure ability and what i'm assuming is a life of musical study and musical obsession you got to be obsessed to get to this level of um, ability you got to be doing it all day who knows what their childhood was like it'll be quite interesting to know i'm assuming you know if they are both albinos uh brothers maybe they had to spend a lot of time indoors and maybe it just happened to be music that was the thing that they did just uh, just i guess i don't i don't want to cop too much hate for that comment maybe i'm ignorant of um the realities of being an albino it's maybe not that bad but maybe if there is this sensitivity to light and to sun maybe they were inside a lot practicing that would make sense to me that would make sense to me from the outside who is as someone who is somewhat ignorant of the life of an albino oh my god okay stop talking about albinos because i don't know anything about that part of it but musically absolutely phenomenal i don't even know what to say the journey with blues blues is a story they're telling you a story and the way they took us on this 12 8 peak and valley crescendos decrescendos slight accelerandos it wasn't metronomic doesn't need to be doesn't want to be it's the blues the tempo did ramp up at times but then when they went back to the um that slow uh really stripped back part that little ostinato that he had going really low dynamic level that seemed like every time they went back to that it was right back in the pocket of where they started but within that between those parts they were off on a journey man if the if the tempo wants to go up goes up this is a blues it's not copy and paste world this is real musicians playing live in a room together if you want to speed up you speed up if you want to slot back down for that low dynamic part slow it back down it's all good oh my god this is so exciting so exciting to discover this mario mr chally thank you so much for the pick guys remember to pick up your free 10 bpm extra speed on your single stroke roll if you subscribe to this video remember you as a subscriber get access to a free 30-day trial over at drumio you can learn off the world's best drummers and pick up one of the many thousands of drum transcriptions all for free on my link if you would like to support this channel further i do have a patreon it's just five dollars a month you get access to all the blocked videos if you have a direct reaction request that you definitely want to get done on the channel, the only way I can guarantee your request at the moment is via the PayPal link. Oh man, I can't wait for the feedback on this one. Uh, I'm sure at this level of playing ability, they've got to have many, many great performances out there. Can't wait to check out more of them. Guys, until next time, take care. Ciao.